In June 2020, we celebrate 20 years since the DA was formed. The DA's roots go back as far as 1959, when Helen Suzman's Progressive Party was formed to oppose apartheid. The Progressive Party paved the way for the Democratic Party, which played a vital role in negotiating South Africa's democratic constitution. In 2000, the party evolved into the Democratic Alliance out of a need to build a strong opposition to protect and strengthen democracy. Since its formation, the DA has grown substantially from an opposition party to a party of government. From humble beginnings to having over 20% of support in national and municipal elections, the DA is the only party with a record of non-racial electoral growth and is a viable alternative to the ANC. Over 7 million people live in DA-run municipalities across the country and in the top performing province in South Africa, the Western Cape. The DA-run Western Cape has the lowest unemployment rate of any province. More children stay in school to matric here than anywhere else. And the DA-run Cape Town has been voted top tourist city in the world for seven years in a row. The DA takes its role of protecting our hard-won democracy seriously. It was the first party to call for a comprehensive rollout of anti-retrovirals when AIDS denialism was at its peak. Be it through a seven-year court battle to get access to spy tape evidence that finally has Zuma in court in connection with fraud, racketeering and money laundering charges stemming from an arms deal in the late 90s, to the DA's relentless pressure in Parliament that eventually saw the establishment of the Zondo Commission of Inquiry into state capture and the battle to pull back the curtain on corruption at state-owned enterprises such as ESCOM and PRASA. The DA's efforts has finally seen former President Zuma pay back the money, wasted illegally upgrading his Nkandla home. The DA is doing everything possible to defeat the COVID-19 pandemic, making constructive proposals for how we can get South Africans safely back to work, protecting everybody's constitutional rights by launching a court case to stop government ban on NGOs distributing food to desperate and hungry people and challenging irrational lockdown laws like the use of discrimination when deciding who gets relief in this difficult time. In all communities, we are fighting to protect every South African's right to own property and feel safe in their own homes. Today, and for the last 20 years, the DA has been at the forefront of democracy, working hard to make life better for every South African.